ओके क्लास सो लेट्स वेट फॉर फाइव मिनट्स लेट्स वेट फॉर फाइव मिनट्स लेट एवरी वन कम इन देन वी विल स्टार्ट अवर लेक्चर English A. Today we will do English A work. Okay. Sheet number eleven. Today we will do sheet number eleven English A. So let's everyone come. Only two students are present. Name has left the class. Only one student is present. So I think we should start our lecture. When students will come, I'll let them in. Okay. Okay. Someone has asked to join. Excuse me. Which one's the book? Hai? English A work uh, activity folder. English okay. English A activity folder page number eleven. So today we will learn about sun. Traveling together around the sun is our topic for today. Okay, so everyone, open your book and let me know. English B, English A, English A. Yes, everyone. Okay, so without wasting time, okay. So first of all, we will watch the video, and then we will give answers about the solar, about the sun. Okay, Abdul Rahman, Fatima, I guess she is. Okay. So, sure, my name is Fatma. I am with another mobile. Okay. Okay, so let's watch a video now. I'm presenting you my screen. Screen. Sir, you have English B ka kaam karwa di. It's uh, today we will do English A work. Okay, today we will do English A work. Page number eleven. Screen. Sir, your voice is very soft. Soft? Yes. Okay. Check your volume of your phone. Okay, so let's watch a video about sun, and then we will solve the worksheets. While billions of stars are scattered throughout the universe, the one at the center of our solar system plays a special role for us here on Earth. Our sun formed about 4.5 billion years ago in the Milky Way galaxy's Orion spur. It was born when a cloud of dust and gas, known as a solar nebula, collapsed. And in the middle of this formation, matter condensed into a burning ball of gas that became our sun. The sun's fiery nature, along with a tremendous gravitational pull and an extensive magnetic field, helped it to become the heart of our solar system. The sun can be divided into six layers or regions: the corona, the chromosphere, so glass, the photosphere. This is sun's uh, anatomy. So let's see what parts sun has and what layers does sun have. Radiated zones and the core. In terms of atom count, 
the sun is about 91% hydrogen, the sun's fuel, 8.9% helium, and 0.1% heavier elements, such as carbon and nitrogen. Due to the sun's extreme temperatures, these elements stay in a gas-like phase called plasma. In the core, temperatures reaching at least 27 million degrees Fahrenheit combined with the sun's powerful gravity fuse together hydrogen molecules to create helium. Called thermonuclear fusion, this releases an enormous amount of energy in the form of radiation, electricity, solar wind, and, as we experience on Earth, life-giving heat and light. Such volatility is contained thanks to the sun's tremendous gravity. It's strong enough to hold the solar system intact and is primarily due to the sun's size and mass. Our sun is the largest and most massive object in the solar system. It's more than 100 Earths wide and could theoretically fit all eight planets inside nearly 600 times. It also contains approximately 99.8% of all the mass in the solar system. Because of this mass, the sun has a great pull on the fabric of space creating a gravitational force that causes nearby planetary bodies to be drawn toward it. This gravitational pull allows the sun to hold together a system of eight planets, potentially dozens of dwarf planets, at least 170 moons, and countless comets and asteroids. Without the sun's gravity, these celestial bodies would drift off into deep space. Another critical property of the sun is its magnetic field, which encapsulates the entire solar system. Called the heliosphere, this force field protects the planets from harmful cosmic radiation. It's caused by the sun's plasma pushing electrically charged particles toward the star's poles. This process turns the sun into a giant magnet. Although the sun's magnetic field is invisible to the naked eye, its effects are noticeable. On the sun's surface are dark areas called sunspots, which mark strong pockets of magnetism. On Earth and on some of the other planets, the sun's magnetic field interacts with their atmospheres, resulting in beautiful auroras. Despite its size and strength, the sun will not last forever. In about 6.5 billion years, it will run out of its hydrogen fuel, expand to envelop Mercury, Venus, and even Earth, and then collapse into a small star known as a white dwarf. In the meantime, the Sun will continue to play a critical role in the system that bears its name. The Sun's protective magnetic field, tremendous gravitational pull, and ability to create vast amounts of energy will protect, contain, and give life to our solar system. Okay class, so there was a lot of information in this promo, in this video. So let's now solve the worksheets. Only two students are, only two students are present. Okay, class. Okay. So traveling together around the sun. Why is the sun important? Okay, why do you think the sun is so important to everyone? Sun is important for our planet because our planet revolves around the sun. And sun is important for us for daylight. And sunlight is important for our earth also. How would be life different if we did not have the sun? If we have the sun, how life is different? Hoti? Of course, the light, life would have been very different. It would be only night in our planet, no daylight. And it would be so pathetic for us to live in night and dark. Right, class? 
आप इंग्लिश बी पढ़ रही है इंग्लिश ए ओके सॉरी ओके आई हैव इंग्लिश ए बुक हां टुडे वी आर डूइंग इंग्लिश ए सो इट्स शीट नंबर 11 हम एक्सक्यूज मी इट्स शीट नंबर 11 हां अभी आपने क्या लिखवाया है अह अभी कुछ भी नहीं लिखवाया अभी तो हम डिस्कशन कर रहे हैं ओके ओके सो द क्वेश्चन वाज दैट हाउ वुड बी लाइफ हम आज हमने कितने पेज करने हैं टू पेजेस ओके ओके हाउ वुड बी लाइफ डिफरेंट इफ वी हैव टू पेजेस द सन अगर हमारी अर्थ पर सन ना होता तो हमारी लाइफ किस तरह की होनी थी वी वुड हैव only night and night we won't be having daylight hamare paas din nahi hona tha and you know for crops and for fields the sunlight is so important for plants also then there wouldn't be any plants koi plants nahi hone the agar sunlight na hote right about the things solar system is made up of so what are the things that solar systems are made up of Hmm. Okay, you will get the answer in this video. Okay. There is a lot to balance, but Grammarly ensures. Oh my God! What's that? Skip ad. Okay. So, class, in solar system, we have sun, we have planets, and we have yes. मैं अपनी बहन की प्रेजेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटें
space who study about astron uh, about space about planets about solar systems about galaxies Gravity. We were right, astronomers. Everyone, yes. We were right, astronomers. Mm -hmm. We were right. We will see um, notebook answers to the questions. In the copy, you can write answers. Okay. Okay. Next, we have gra uh, gravity. Gravity is a force that attracts. मुझे आंसर बता दे इसका मैं लीव कर गया था अच्छा ओके ओके सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वाई इज सन वाई इज द सन इम्पोर्टेंट वाई इज सन इम्पोर्टेंट सन इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर फॉर आवर फॉर द सर्वाइवल ऑफ लिविंग बींग्स इन ऑन अर्थ एंड Uh, it is important. Okay, was it not clear? Okay. Why my voice is not clear? Okay. Now my volume is. Clear. Okay, class. So why is the sun important? Bridge. Book पे लिखना है copy पे copy. You have to write in your copy. Okay. Oh, I am writing. I think they won't understand, so I am writing the answers. Okay. So answer number one. Why is sun important for us? Sun is important. Important for important. For the survival of of living beings on Earth, Earth, sun is important for the survival of living beings on Earth, and. Okay, you don't have to write long question, so I'm writing. I'm making it concise. Okay, question number two. What is question number two? Question number two is, how would be life different if we did not have sun? The life would be very. Different if we did not have sun because because uh, plants because there. Would would not be any sunlight sunlight on Earth sunlight. I think I should. I think I should get up and write it properly. Okay. There. would be any sunlight there would not be any sunlight on earth and no growth of plants plants and no sunlight no morning no morning this would have made our life dull and boring Now let's see what is question number three. You can take screenshot, everyone. Also, write about the things solar system is made up of. Solar system is 
the solar system is made up of sun of the sun planets and dwarf planets okay now let's see what is the next question okay okay next terms to understand now the terms that you have to understand astronomers who are astronomers do you know class who travels in space astronomers okay i've okay so astronomers are those persons those physicists who studies planets who studies universe as a whole okay gravity is the force a strong force that that attracts everything toward itself for example sun has a lot of gravity that's why the all the planets can revolve around sun diameter what is diameter more because net in me diameter diameter is the length of a straight line passing through the center of a circle it's a straight line that divide a circle into two parts and connecting two points on the circumference okay its diameter is the line straight line that connect the center of a circle into two points okay class orbit what is orbit class what is orbit orbit is a path that all the bodies celestial bodies revolve around okay so now what is craters okay crater is a bowl shaped geological formation at the top of a volcano so craters are the are like bomb or on okay so craters are like bombs or okay it's like a formation that are found at the top of the volcanoes explore to visit something to go through something space probe what is space probe do you know what is space probe okay so space probes are basically robotic spacecrafts that do not revolve or orbits around the sun or earth but it explores into the space it go out in the space and explore the things like it can go to moon as well other planetary bodies also okay class next okay the sister planets reading compare and contrast so here we will compare and contrast first we will write two planets names of two planets and then we will write the difference and similarities okay for example uh we can write sister planet
so we will write about two planets for example we can write about uh, venus or we can write about mars and then we can compare both of them earth or mars or like uh, any other planets that we will compare okay so first we will find out the difference between earth and okay we we can choose so i will write it here okay mai yahan likhungi and then you will also write it sist earth and mars i think we should compare earth and mars Earth and Mars comparison. Okay, so here I am going to write difference. Uh, here Earth. Okay, we can use that insert. Shape. So class. the thing that i will write here would be earth i will write about earth in this and in the next one i will write about mars okay so this is going to be mars so let's add it the text in here okay class so this is earth and this is mars so let's write about earth okay earth diameter is 12750 kilometers okay now we will write mars diameter now this is the difference mars diameter is 6790 km okay this is the first difference okay class Okay next difference we will write Earth has water Earth has Earth surface is so here we will write 70% uh 70% earth surface earth surface is covered covered by liquid water okay so liquid water but mars let's talk about mars now mars has no liquid water on its surface mars has no liquid water this is an other difference liquid water on its surface class so next difference earth has different color mars has different color
Okay, now. Okay, there is one difference that there is one similarity that we will write. So one more shape. Uh, which shape should show the similarity? Okay, this shape will show the similarity. Here we will write the similarity. The thing that are found common in both. So here we will write the similarity that are found in both planets. Okay, class. So here we will write the similarity. So both are terrestrial planets. Added text. They both are terrestrial, terrestrial, terrestrial planets. They both are terrestrial planets. Okay. For example, they both have. A mental core and crust. Okay, class, so write it down. I'm leaving it for you. I'm giving you five minutes to write it down. Yes, yes. Jahan alike likha hua hai na, wahan likhna hai. They both are terrestrial planets. Uh, here, yahan alike hai. First, you will write Earth in here, Mars here. Yahan Earth ki saari likhna hai ya Mars ki likhna hai. Yahan alike. Okay. Done class? Yes, teacher. Okay. So that was your today's work. Tomorrow uh, at home, you have to read this and this. It's your homework. So Fatima and Zainal Abedin, only two students are present. So I'll see you next time now. I'll show you your recording soon.